force equals b i l sine theta theta is 90 so sine cancels out torque equals force times length slope so level arm right hand rule proves that these two parts work out d equals x over 2 but there are two torques acting so the net torque equals bill x cause area is l times x and at the number of loops torque equals b i a n torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around it's right there in the air when a model airplane flies around yeah it'll teach you how to make a motor need a little power in my life torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around the right hand rule is a quick trick used for knowing knowing which way force goes your index finger points to current the three on its side side point to the field with this simple and quick trick your thumb will give you the force more like its direction ooh baby with the help of your old hand you can even answer an easy smay problem torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around it's right there on the ground when an RC car drives around yeah it'll teach you how to make a motor need a little power in my life torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around motors there are two types of motors AC and DC alternating current inverts the torque you see direct current don't change there ain't no other way you need a commutator to keep the torque the same AC don't play no games it changes on its own keeps that torque consistent no stopping now that's my torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around it's right there in orbit when a telescope turns around yeah, I'll teach you how to make a motor need a little power in my life torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around it's right there under sea when a submarine sails around yeah i'll teach you how to make a motor need a little power in my life torque in a loop won't you come and spin me around